guys! Today I'm going to review a Randall and Hopkirk episode and this one's called Ghosts That Saved the Bank at Monte Carlo. Your ticket? To Monte Carlo. It is the best place, isn't it? I should put it on number 14 red, my dear. The Ghosts That Saved the Bank at Monte Carlo is the 11th episode of Randall and Hopkirk Deceased and the made 26 episodes overall. It was broadcast in 1969 on the 30th of November on ITV. It was directed by Jeremy Summers and written by Tony Williamson. Nicholas Courtney and Roger Delgado meet for the first time in this story. They would later play the Brigadier and the Master in the 70s Doctor Who series when John Pertway was the Doctor. The episode runs 52 minutes and stars Mike Pratt as Jeff Randall, Kenneth Cope as Marty Hopkirk, Annette Andrea as Janie Hopkirk. It also stars Mary Morrell, Brian Blessed, Veronica Carlson, Nicholas Courtney and Roger Delgado. So a relative of Marty Hopkirk, an old woman, she's found a secret of the roulette wheel and she's got it wrote down on a notepad and in this story two gangs are after a notepad and supposedly it's set in Monte Carlo it's strange though because they use stock footage and it's a clever way of TV shows managing to look a little bit more expensive than what they actually are they show footage, stock footage of the area and then later they go to studio sets it, it's a clever way, sometimes it does kind of trick the audience's mind a little bit into thinking it's set there and it's used a lot in TV shows like The Saint they use a lot of stock footage instead of travelling to foreign countries when I was watching this it's never really explained how the the old woman's system works because you can't get a perfect gambling system so I was expecting her at first is she getting help off another ghost or has she got uh, special powers or something but uh, supposedly she just worked out a system one of the best things about Randall and Hopkirk for me is the, the title sequence and the music, theme music I think it's brilliant the way it's done and this particular episode's got an amazing cast you get Nicholas Courtney, Roger Delgado they would later play the Brigadier and the Master in Doctor Who. Yeah, the bloody Master, the bloody Brigadier. I was bloody expecting John Pertwee to bloody pop up next. Yes, Bones, it's a brilliant cast. You would expect John Pertwee to pop up. Even Veronica Carlson pops up in this. She's famous for her Hammer films. Brian Blessed scene. And of course, the three regulars are on form. By this time, with it being the 11th episode, that really got into the stride with the characters. In this one, Mike Prado plays Jeff. He doesn't believe what Marty's telling him about these gangs after the notebook. Because he, whenever he's looking, he never sees them. And Kenneth Corpo plays Marty. He's uh, exasperated with Jeff because he doesn't believe him. Nicholas Courtney is one of the, the gang members. He doesn't have a tash in this one. And that used to say him as the Brigadier with his fake moustache. So he plays a, a womanizer in this one. <laughs> Strange scene without the tash. You almost don't recognize him at first. Jenkins? Yeah. Shut for the wings there. Five rounds rapid. Annette Andrea looks brilliant in this one. There's a, a scene where she's walking around in a bikini. Nicholas Courtney tries to chat her up. Yeah, hell, Nicholas bloody Courtney chatting a bloody woman up. Yeah, five rounds rapid. I bet he wouldn't mind firing a few bloody rounds rapid up her. <laughs> yeah, five rounds rapid. <laughs> Bones man, stop being so rude. So Veronica Carlson pops up with a, a bikini on as well. One interesting thing about this show that struck us was the use of smoking. Whatever you say, a lot of the characters, the smoking. Like you, you never get that now with these days. But in them days, it was a regular thing. It seems a little bit strange now when you, when you watch something and everyone's smoking. It's not like dates it a little bit, but 
that's what they did in them days. Hey, Phil, why the hell's every book of smoking in this? Is that all the bloody did in the 1960s? Smoke bloody cigarettes all day? Yeah, Bones, they didn't have the internet in them days. That would do something. Roger Delgado is the manager of the casino. He's got one of them faces that you automatically think he's a villain. In this one, he actually isn't. Brian Blessed's one of the, the gang members after the notebook as well. He doesn't have a beard. Matt used to see him with a beard, so he looked weird as well, clean shaved. Hey, Phil, that's that bugger out of Blackadder. Well, he's bloody beard. You know, that bloody actor who's always bloody shouting. So at the end of the story, it's quite funny, there's a, there's a good ending. Where the two gangs are watching them in the casino. And Marty, using his ghost powers, makes a lose on the roulette wheel. And the two gangs think, oh, the system doesn't bloody work. She's just a silly old woman. And the, the, the walk away. I thought that was a clever way to end it. Make them think that the system doesn't work when it really does. And there's another good gag on the way back when they're on the plane. She's reading a newspaper and she's decided she's worked out a system to back horse racing. Thought that was a good way to end it. So this episode's a good example of how TV shows, they do good casting, they cast actors from films. So you see a, a, a lot of familiar faces in these TV shows. So overall I thought this was a really good one. Out of the two that I've reviewed so far, this one... In the first episode, I'd probably class the first episode as better, but I thought this one was really good as well with its brilliant cast. So, out of 10, what would I give it? Well, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give it an 8. 8 out of 10. But did you think, Bones, did you like it? Give it top marks, Phil. You can't beat these old TV shows. Better than the bloody crap they make these days. Okay, everybody, bye. Like, subscribe and share. Bye. for swimming, why don't you join me? Yeah, five rounds rapid. <laughs> oh, would you mind, Auntie? Of course not, my dear. You run along. I'm sure Mr. Hart will take good care of you. Five rounds rapid. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us.